close the window. It's freezing. But Sora, there's a Kentosaurus outside our window. I don't care, Asaurus. It's the weekend. Go back to bed. Stegosaurus too? I don't believe it. Dana, go back to... What? What are you doing? Pinching myself to make sure I'm not still asleep. <sighs> Sara, I'm gonna tell you something, even though it might blow your mind. Are you ready? Why can't I go back to sleep? You know how my mom met your dad and now we're family, even though we look different? Yes, I was there. Well, dinosaurs have the same thing. Some dinosaurs look a little bit different, like how many spikes they have, but belong to the same family. Wow, mind blown. Dino experiment 625, attempt number seven. <laughs> Science can be messy. Stop that, Sarah. It's weird. <laughs> I'm not the one trying to ride a hippo. I'm not trying to ride a hippo. I'm trying to ride a hippo Draco. Sure. Totally less weird. What exactly is a hippo Draco? I was hoping you'd ask. Hippo Draco's name means horse dragon because it. Wait, there's a horse dinosaur? Yes. I love horses. How did I not know about this? Probably because it was only recently discovered. Paleontologists found parts of its bones in 2014 and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me why they call it a horse. Just look at its head. Notice anything? Oh, horsey. <laughs> exactly. Hippodraco had a long, low skull, just like a horsey. They are very similar. But that doesn't help me solve Dino Experiment 625. What does it feel like to ride a Hippo Draco? Or maybe it does. Grandma, you rode horses when you were a kid. Yes. Well, if Hippo Draco is just like a horse, then maybe if you teach us how to ride a horse, it would help Dana figure out how to ride her dino. Great idea, Sara. Yes, but I, I haven't ridden in years. I... Uh, you've been inside all day long. Come on, up you get. The Megalodon wasn't afraid. She has no predators, only prey. As the Megalodon tracked its prey, the electricity got more and more powerful, and then, the Megalodon could see the creature she was tracking. It was a plesiosaur, and it had no idea it was being hunted. The Megalodon struck quickly, using the element of surprise. But the plesiosaur wasn't going down without a fight. It used its flippers and teeth to keep the Megalodon at bay. But the Megalodon was sneaky and managed to get close. It looked like the Megalodon was going to win until the plesiosaur got away. Bathroom's all yours, Dana. But the plesiosaur escaped. Do you have any other theories about how the Megalodon would have hunted in the dark ocean? No, sorry, Nugget. I also stay out of there for a while. Why is Dana on the floor? Sarah, I was using the bathroom. Now I am. Are you bleeding? Yeah, I cut myself. Do what? I was practicing a new dance move. Which one? Oh, this. And then I backed into a wall. <sighs> Do you want a dino bandage instead? Uh, why not? Why are you on the floor? I'm trying to see how the Megalodon, a giant prehistoric shark, hunted in the dark. They probably use this. Sharks don't have arms. No, with blood. I don't understand. My science teacher told us that sharks have a really good sense of smell. They can sense even the tiniest bit of blood in water. Ow! I don't smell anything. Yeah, because you're not a shark. 
Now get out. But Sara, I still need no, to No, you've been hogging the bathroom all day. Fine. It goes like this. So which is better? Bigger size or bigger horns? There's only one way to find out. Fight! <laughs> Triceratops prediction might be right. Incredible! Diaboceratops is showing off her horns. And it looks like it's working. Bye, Triceratops! What are you doing? Scaring you with my size. Yeah, no. Yeah, I didn't think it would work either. But it worked in the Triceratops. Well, I'm not a dinosaur. And as long as I have the polishing cloth, I polish. Nice try, though. Where are you going? To get the wheelbarrow. OK, we'll hurry up. I want to pet those baby goats. My robe. I'm not sure you're gonna want it back right now. Yes, I do. And what did mom and dad say about taking my stuff? Ask first, give it. Ugh, it's soaking wet. That wasn't my fault. That was the dinosaurs. I'm sure they're sorry. You know, Maybe you'll stop taking stuff without asking if it happens to you. What does she mean? You'll see. She'll calm down. In a bit. Is that your mom down there? I think she's looking for you. Are you afraid of the water? It's okay. Paleontologists think that just like the dinosuchus, you spent a lot of your life in the water too. Maybe that's why your snouts look the same. myself. I'm never gonna pass. That's not true. You just have to get over your fear of heights. <sighs> Easy for you to say. You're not afraid of anything. That's not true. I used to be afraid of dinosaurs. What? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. When I first heard about them, I thought they were big and scary and mean looking. Especially the T-Rex. When I 
started learning about them, I realized they were super interesting, mostly because they survived on being big and mean and scary looking. Well, I don't think learning about heights is gonna help me get over my fear. No, but when I get scared now, I pretend I'm a dinosaur. It works every time. Is that why you roar sometimes at night? I'm a little bit scared of the dark. Come on, dino diving school is about to begin. Thanks, Dana. What are little sisters for? You like to sing. So? So? You don't like every song. Maybe memorizing the dino names isn't the best way for you to remember them. Maybe we should make up a song about them. I don't know. Come on, we'll imagine the dinosaurs are with us. Let's start with the age of reptiles. First Triassic, when the dinos began. Eoraptor, Procomsognathus. And you just learned something new. Let's keep going. Let's hope that works.